Well, friends, we think you've got it. We think that you now understand that you are source energy in physical bodies, yes? Do you get it that you've come here with purpose? Do you understand that that purpose is expansion? Joyous expansion? Do you understand that you never get it done and you cannot get it wrong? And the reason that you can't get it wrong is because it's never done. So even though it may sound or feel out of balance and maybe even wrong, that it really isn't wrong because in the feeling of wrongness, you're giving birth to your opinion of what would be righter. And the source within you so trusts your opinion of what would be better for you that the source within you embraces that idea completely and becomes a vibrational equivalent to it and holds steady there until you find your way there. We've talked about the fun of croaking. <laughs> You're still not there, are you? <laughs> We've talked about the deliciousness of releasing resistance through what you call the death experience. And we've talked about releasing resistance through meditation, quieting the mind. We've talked about releasing resistance through appreciation, but you have to be somewhere in the vicinity of appreciation to release resistance. But do you know, with every feeling of relief that you find as you make your way up the emotional scale, with every feeling of relief, there is the releasing of resistance. And so, Every effort that you make to release a little resistance is really worth the effort because in time, because of the vastness of the variety of your life, the subjects that are alive and active in your now are enough for you to release all resistance that you've accumulated over a lifetime. Do you know that? You don't have to go back and make peace with some wrongdoing that happened. 20 years ago or 30 years ago or yesterday. You don't have to go back and fix all of those things because whatever is active in your vibration now is bringing you current, real life, active, poignant, meaningful, now matches. You're attracting the vibrational evidence that shows you what you're doing. Do you know that what you're living and the way it is playing out is your vibrational indicator? Do you know what's going on in your body is just an indicator of your vibration? Do you know that what's happening in your life in terms of relationship is just a vibrational indicator? Do you know the money in your bank account is a vibrational indicator? Everything that is manifested, the car that you're driving, the house that you're living in, the clothes that you're wearing, the condition of your body, everything about your life is a vibrational indicator. And those indications of vibration are being shown to you all day, every day in the form of the emotion that you feel. So if you leave here with one decision within you and it goes like this, I now understand the importance of recognizing how I feel and I do care about feeling as good as I can feel about that and that and that. So somebody you love tells you a lie and it hits you hard and you think, they shouldn't lie to me. They should trust me more. I wish they wouldn't lie. And then you try to wrestle them to the ground and you try to figure out why they are lying and you try to figure out where the lies started and you try to understand the motive of the lying and all you do is get yourself in a scramble because you can't begin to understand it. You couldn't sort it out if you had a hundred lifetimes to do it. But you can recognize that your attention to this subject is causing you discomfort right here and now, and you could choose a better feeling thought. So you find a thought that goes something like, I don't understand where they're coming from. And that gives you a little relief. And then you think of a thought such as, well, I have told a lie before, and that might make you feel better too. And then you think a thought such as, the only time I've ever lied was because I didn't think the person would like what I thought to be the truth. And I wanted them to feel as good as they could feel. So maybe there is some compassion in lying somewhere and you feel a little better. And then you think, I don't know why I'm making such a big thing about this. And then you think, I can't even remember what the subject at hand was. And then you think, 
I think I've been making a big deal out of nothing. And then you think, this is a person who I really love. And then you think, it really doesn't matter what they're doing. It really only matters how I feel about them. And then you think, I should not ask them to behave in certain ways in order to love them because I am one who offers unconditional love. And as you work your way through issue after issue with person after person and subject after subject, before you know it, within one or two or three days, certainly four or five and absolutely within 30, you will have had enough real life experiences show you the vibrational evidence of what's going on with your vibration that you can clean it all up. Within 30 days, you can have cleaned up enough of your vibration. And by clean it up, all we mean is find a better feeling thought, find a better feeling thought, find a better feeling thought, find a better feeling thought. That do you know that you are 30 days or less from being a vibrational match to the source that is really you? To the reason that you were born, to the coming forth into this physical experience, to the living the joyous life experience that you've come to live, to the being a vibrational match to what's in your vibrational escrow, to the getting inside everything that you've ever asked for. Do you know how close you are in terms of time to having everything that life so far has caused you to ask for? It's such a short distance. It just requires some caring about how you feel and a willingness to move yourself deliberately up the emotional scale and back into vibrational alignment with who you really are. As you do that every day, you'll see the world a little more through the eyes of source. And as you begin to view your magnificent world through the eyes of source, you will then revel in your beingness and in that of others. And you will feel pride and worth beyond physical description. And you will begin to express to others, I've come forth with great reason into this physical body. And that reason is for joyous expansion. And I wish that for all. There is great love here for you. And as always, we remain joyously and permanently incomplete. <laughs> yeah.